My name is Porter Fox, and I'm the features editor for Powder Magazine and author of the book Deep, The Story of Skiing and the Future of Snow. And I'm here to talk about climate change and snow, and snow as uh, uh, natural water storage and also as something that we like to ski on and kind of what's going to happen in our mountains in the next 50 to 100 years. I've spoken to a lot of students actually. They, they seem um, uh, probably the, the most interested uh, come out in the largest numbers. They're great. They, they, they still have that idealistic uh, vision of the future that, that some of us still have and want to know first of all exactly what is happening and what's predicted to happen and what they can do about it. The most important message is that it's not too late. Um, it's uh, on the later side of uh, trying to mitigate climate change and keep our mountains and, and snowpack similar to what they are now, um, not to mention our environment and just the world at large. Uh, but it's not too late and there's some really great, very important, innovative stuff happening right now. Um, and I, I would hope that they would learn about that, uh, read about it, um, connect with Protect Our Winners, who I worked with on the book, to get the latest updates of um, what uh, kind of climate predictions are, uh, what legislation uh, is in Washington and, and what their senators are voting for and against. Um, those kinds of things and just know that um, they're the generation that's going to have to see this through. I really am an optimist in the end. The, the first half of my research was very depressing and the second half was very inspiring. Uh, in the first half I was just reading about what exactly they're, they're predicting for the next hundred years and, and the second half of, of the book is really about um, what people are doing to try to slow down clim uh, climate change and what they're doing to try to save snow, try to save cities, try to save California. Uh, and, and it's incredible. It's, it's some of the most uh, innovative science happening today. And that was really inspiring. And I, my secret hope is that um, we come out of this not only saving our planet, but also finding a, a much better, more efficient and equitable way to live on the planet.